Welcome back to the rest of the story. Well, I had to do an infield net wrap change in the round baler the other day. Really simple. You do this enough times, it's literally like tying your shoes. That's the old roll of net wrap. All it is is a plastic or cardboard tube. I launched into Ryan's yard so he can pick it up. Now, I normally don't get carried away putting talcum powder on these rubber rolls anymore. On our 535, it was mandatory. Uh, you couldn't run that 535 without putting talcum powder on it. If you got into any kind of crop that had any moisture in it whatsoever, the rolls, the net wrap would wrap on the rolls all the time. I mean, no matter what I did, all the adjustments we can make and everything, the only thing that ever really seemed to help was putting talcum powder on the rolls. Uh, this baler, that's not near as much of an issue. The only time I really put talcum powder on it is when I am put a new uh, roll of net wrap in, and it really seems to help getting the, the roll started. That bar that is about chest height with me, you can just hardly see it there. Um, it serves as a break, and it holds the, the roll of net wrap tight up against the, uh, the front of the baler, or the back of the baler. Um, what it does is it keeps the net wrap from rolling too much and th sending out a whole bunch of extra net wrap and it knots everything up in the back rolls um, that's actually giving me a little bit of trouble I kept bailing and when I started through on a new roll it's not so much an issue it's not at all when the roll is about half gone but when the roll is new like this the uh, the brake is set too tight and I was having issues where the rolls were ripping the net wrap and it wasn't allowing the the net wrap to feed out and um, caused me a little bit of trouble that's where that rear view camera really came in handy because I caught it immediately the Baylor sensors um, the monitor tells me um, when it doesn't wrap it, it that with the 535 we had, it did not tell me when, at least consistently, when the bale didn't wrap. Um, the problem with this is that it doesn't catch if half of the roll of net wrap um, feeds out. If the other half, you say if um, the net wrap on the end here on the far right, if that catches and it only feeds out half the roll, half the width of the roll of net wrap, um, the baler won't read that and then I'll start throwing out bad bales if I don't catch that right away because then only half the bale will be wrapped. <clears throat> um, that's something else I'm going to have to adjust too. I'm going to put some pieces of plastic to keep the net wrap centered a little bit better because on this side of the baler it does come out too, too close to the end where it does actually come off the end of the edge of the rubber rolls and it'll actually catch the end of the net wrap and then it'll um, catch the whole length of the net wrap on those rolls and then it won't wrap a bale. It's a simple fix I believe. Um, I'm just going to put a width of plastic in there to keep the net wrap over top of the rubber rolls. Um, as you can see this video is what about five or six minutes long. This isn't this isn't sped up or anything. This is just how fat, how long it takes to do this. This when I first started having to do a round bale and I started doing this by myself. This used to be more like a fifteen minute job. I can do this and if I really worked at it, I could do it in about five minutes. Um, well, it's just something that doesn't take that long anymore. It comes with something that comes with age and experience, I guess is the best way to say it. I'm rolling the net wrap back there. I'm trying to save as much as I can. I'm going to cut out the the excess length, but I want to make it as short as possible. You can see I'm, I grab it. I'm, I guess I'm going to stay in front of the camera. I'm wrapping it um, to put it all in a light, uh, bundle towards the end there. I'm take my knife, cut it all off. And now all the wrap will be approximately the same length. And I put it down between the rolls and get it started. You don't want to do too long of a tail because if you do too long, it uh, will actually bunch up behind the knife. 
Uh, but what they, whatever updates, all the updates they did to this 566 uh, compared to that 535 we had, I'm not sure if this is the e -di a direct successor from a 535. Um, this baler is light years ahead of our last one. I mean, yeah, we had to do a bunch of work to it when we first got it, but it uh, it's been really dependable. The biggest issue with it is just keeping the teeth fixed. And I don't like running the teeth in the pickup down in the dirt anyway. That helps save the wear and tear and the life on them. So, thanks for watching. Take care. Take it easy. Keep in touch. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.